Hello everyone, I'm your host, Ball Zombie. Welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Remake. It's time to catch up with all our friends. Well, the ones not in my pockets, at least. Uh, where did we start? Oh, let's go check out... I'll check out both shops, just in case there's a new copy of Luigi Story. Throat Bomb? Uh, hello, I'm happy you got my honey. Yes. Oh, okay. When the light fades from Rogueport, a hero emerges, inscribing his name in legend. Super Luigi, all five volumes now on sale. The mustachioed green baron. Okay, I want the last volume. Oh, they've been doubling in price. I didn't even put attention to that. They were 16, then 32, then 64, then 128, and then 256. Flavio? Hello there, you Mario. You're doing well, I must assume, yes? Whom are you asking? Well, I am now the second richest man in Rogueport. Yes, having my beautiful SS Flavio and Smash to Bits was not a financial boon, hmm? But do not think of I regret our fabulous adventure. Perhaps you and I will sail again someday. It's hard to tell if that's something from the end of the chapter or something from I just... Oh, your partners are all gone. I've been catching a breather here, you know, reflecting back on all my adventures. It's been a long road, bro. Want to hear what happened? Super Luigi book. Actually, you know what? This guy novelized my quest. He's been interviewing me. He was actually interviewing me here at the inn during breaks from my adventure. I didn't think anyone would be interested in reading a book about Luigi. But Super Luigi came out recently, and check this out, bro, here in Rogueport. It set a new record for consecutive weeks at number one on the bestseller list. Oh, ho, ho. hooray for Luigi, bro. I started reading it the other day, but it's an encyclopedic account in multiple volumes. Excruciating detail, bro. It's like a history book. It seemed like one, anyway. They've got it in the shop here at Rogueport. How about you snag a copy, bro? I already did. I already bought it. I support my brother. Both in the video game and in real life. Oh, okay. You still don't have anything. I was kind of hoping maybe this is like a bonus end of the game thing. Where are... Peach and Toadsworth not in town. I kind of figured they would be. Uh, what was I doing? Uh, what about you? Could there possibly be anything left? Nope. Okay. We're done there. Uh, trouble center? Roust these cads. I really wanted to see the great tree, but there are many cads in the way. Won't someone please roust these ne'er do wells? I'm waiting in Bogley Woods near the great tree. Doty? Okay. Professor? You seem pretty cheery, and as always, I'm happily busy with my research. <clears throat> By the by. Do you know what was in that treasure chest we found in the palace? It contained... A dried mushroom! Oh no, it's nothing to be disappointed by. Now we know for certain that people indeed ate mushrooms a thousand years ago. It's a groundbreaking anthropological discovery. Okay. If you say so. Okay. Maybe Peach and them are on the west side of town? Or maybe they're just not here. That'd be a shame, though, to go through all that and Peach isn't in the game. I bet she's somewhere. Hold on. I bet there's... Uh, Princess Peach post-game thousand-year door. Uh, after I beat the game, where can I find Peach? Oh, she's not in? That sucks. That's a bummer. Hey, listen, Mario. You're incredible. Truly incredible. You didn't just do a syndicate a favor. You did a whole world a favor. Peace returned to the world, and it's all because of you, Mario. Thank you. 
Oh, I know. We'll name the baby that we're gonna have Mario. Eh? That was sudden. All right, I have stuff to get rid of. Well, first I have plenty of stuff to store. I can't store anything else. Uh. Wait, how much? How many ultra mushrooms do I have in there? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I have fourteen. That might be excessive. Okay, let's take out. How many did I say? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. The jam and jellies are more valuable anyway. Ooh, I got a lot. Uh, And I'll sell the rest. I don't need these shooting stars. I guess I'll just hold the rest of these in my inventory. Okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, does maybe the Don has something to say? Hey, it's you again. You know, this guy going dark with nothing at all. It wasn't nothing at all. It's great for us. You should have seen the way people were blowing their dough. Oh, that's grim. Let's play these last two games. Uh, so the tube game and the boat game. Okay, the tube game. In this game, you have to roll up in a tube and navigate the difficult courses. You'll have to be able to dodge obstacles and navigate narrow paths. The faster you reach the goal, the more piantas you'll earn. Fall off the track and you'll lose piantas instead, so roll with caution. If you don't finish the race within a minute and a half, you'll get a game over, so be careful, but do it quickly. Sure. Okay, stay on your toes. Good luck. So what are we doing here? Okay, that doesn't seem that bad. So you make a loop there and you go that way. Where does that go then? Ah, there's more that side. Oh, there's a lot more that side. Oh no, it gets harder over there. Okay, let's try it. I don't think I'll be going for high scores on this one. I'm just gonna. It certainly feels easier to control than I remember on the GameCube. Wait, how many laps is it? Oh! I almost got pressed. Doesn't seem that bad. Totally missed that last one. Okay. Oh, that's a that's an easy one to get a lot of money on. In practice, you probably get more. Okay, I'm fine with that. Okay, thank you. Come again. Okay, I want to play the boat game now. Boat game. In this game, you become a boat and dodge obstacles as you sail to the finish. You'll sail forward automatically, but you can lower your speed by tilting L in the opposite direction. The current will speed up during the second lap, so steer carefully. The faster you finish, the more piantas you'll win. Hit any obstacles, however, and you'll lose piantas instead. If you don't finish the race within a minute and a half, okay, that's fine. Well, let's see how this one goes. Stay on your toes. Good luck. Oh, this looks quite complicated, actually. 
Okay, I'm just gonna go for this one. So you move automatically, they said. Huh. Nope. Oh. I see where the difficulty comes in. Oh, that wasn't fair. So does it count how many obstacles I hit at the end? Is that what it is? It's a little hard to see the whirlpools sometimes, like they blend in. Whoa, this is fast. Not again. Give me a break. Oh, this is impossible. I'm not doing that one again. <laughs> no, that one's not good. Wow, I lost a lot just for hitting those barrels. No, 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 no. No, that one's not fun. That's a hard pass for me. Thank you, come again, okay? <clears throat> okay, let's go to... I guess let's go to Petal Meadows and then we'll go to the Boggly Woods and deal with the tree thing and come back and pick up another request. talk to is on this screen so well unless the traveling sisters are over on the other side Koops has seemed a bit more mature lately it's pretty cool now you know but sometimes when I think about it I kind of miss the old timid Koops well hello there Mario so how are things today things are just great here thanks to you yeah who's that who's there what do you want you dirty thief, I'll poke you, but good. Come get some. Oh, if it isn't Murphy. How have you been, Murphy? I'm good as ever. Got my health and my long, long life. And your senility. Let's see, are they here? No. Okay. They must be somewhere. It's just a question of where, where did they end up after everything. Okay, to Bogley, to Bogley Woods. So that guy wants, he said he was next to the great tree. And he wants me to, what was it called? Rouse these cads, something like that. Let's go talk to the punies first. Welcome to the great tree. By which I mean turrets are not allowed inside. Sorry. Oh, that little punio. He's always, always so darn squishy-washy. More scolding from the world's loudest grandma. When will it ever stop? You came back. Wow, the guy who saved the world just came back. Just say hi to me. Double wow. Hey, do you have some free time, Mario? I'm really bored. You want to play with me? Sorry, I can't. That's so cheap, Mario. Cheater, cheater. That wasn't any fun at all. Where's the jerk, puny? Tuni has a collection of many beautiful eggs. I wonder where she found them all. I want eggs too. Yeah, where's the big jerk one? The like... He's basically Groose from Skyward Sword, but... As a small... Critter? I don't know what punies are. Are they bugs? Okay, well the guy said he was next to the tree, but I don't see him here. So maybe he's... No. 
All right, where is he? I'm waiting in Bogley Woods near the Great Tree. Are you though? Because that's the Great Tree and you ain't near it. Not this way. Use that bump attack. Wait, what? Oh! Took care of those goons already, eh? Marvelous. I can finally see the great tree. I'm in your debt, sir. It isn't much, but I hope this will do for your troubles. It's my change from lunch. Oh. Perhaps I'll see you up ahead. Oh! Okay. So you were not near the great tree. In fact, you were the opposite. You were far from the great tree. I see now. What? He wants to see the great tree. I wonder if there's a weird translation thing that never got fixed. It's fine. Ah, the great tree. As you watch us foolishly continue to repeat history, what could you think of us? You can do nothing but stand and watch our ignorance. No, what rot. To assume that a tree can do nothing, that only proves my own foolishness. Alright, buddy. You just, uh... Oh. Ah, okay. What else do I need to do? Let's go to the next trouble. So can I go... I wonder if I can see Duplis again in the... I never really messed around with the post-game stuff in this. Originally. So I really don't know what is and isn't... I know there's a few Easter Egg characters. Like, there's a few from... Actually, there might be just one from the first game. Help me make up. I got into a fight with my mom and need you to... I need you to help me make up with her. We're waiting near the Sanctum in Poshley Heights. Yeah. It's Bub. Man. I've played this game, what did it say? 80 something hours? And I still want to play more. Let's go see. Let's go chat up everyone. Oh, maybe I'll try the fight that's here. Nope, oh, sorry. Just what I expect from a legendary Let's Pit champion. An overwhelming win. I'm sure Princess Prince Mush was duly impressed with your win as well. Yes, young Mush is doing quite well, thanks to you. Attaboy, Gonzalez. Yeah, back to being champion. You're a machine. Oh, so not everyone has dialogue reflecting the change. Or the finish. So the greatest ever, the great Gonzalez champ that didn't take you long. Yeah, they're, I think they're talking about me winning back to the uh, top. Welcome to the Glitz Pit. Oh. I told him I fell in that and he said he liked me too. He gave me the courage to go through with it too. Thanks, Gonzalez. Oh, that's cute. Way to go, Mr. Gonzalez. Congratulations, champ. Hey, just between you and me, I got a girlfriend. Congratulations to me too. Good for you, bud. Okay, let's go fight Prince Mush and see, is he, should I have fought him a long time ago or is he about to just destroy me? Let's have Goombella out, because I imagine he's a tattle. Okay, uh, I want an exhibition. Oh yeah, Prince Mush. Would you like to an ex exhibition match against Pr Prince Mush? No. Okay. Oh boy. This was definitely not in the original. Mr. <laughs> Champion, sir, it's time for your match. Please come this way. Alright, I gotta actually talk to you. 
Okay. On a level of scale of 1 to 10, is this going to be... Oh, it has a whole cinematic, too. It's time for today's main event, and we're in for a beaut of a brawl. Here before your eyes, our newest champ, the Great Gonzalez, will battle the very first champion, Prince Mush. When it's all said and done, which of these two beloved fighters will be left standing in the arena? Let's get our star gladiators out here. First, making his triumphant return to the Glitz Pit, it's the Great Gonzalez. You rock, man. Yeah, Gonzalez, he's back. You the man. What an entrance. What an entrance. The crowd is going wild for Gonzalez, our third champion. And standing opposite our newest champion is the first ever fighter to bear the title. That's right, folks. Back in action and better than ever, ready for a royal return to the ring. Give it up for Prince Mush. Prince Mush, the first champion. We missed you. Woo, don't lose to Gonzalez. Two champions face to face at last. The excitement among the crowd has reached a new peak. It's time to ring the starting bell and begin a match that will echo through the halls of the Glitz Pit for eternity. Get ready to brawl. Ooh. Okay, Mario, let's give this match everything we've got. Okay, so he's jumping up and down. That's Prince Mush, the original champion of the Glitz Pit. 96 health! He's finally making his comeback. 96 HP, 6 attack, 6 defense. You'd never guess that he was kept away from fighting for such a long time, and he's still a powerhouse. He's known for being a clean fighter, so he'll come straight at you without relying on dirty tricks. He's also known to switch between different battle styles, just keep an eye on his stance. When he changes it up, he'll have to think you'll have to will have to think fast and come up with a good attack method. If you're not sure you'll come out on top, try to rely on super guards. Also, I've heard he's not a fan of cake. What's the story there, hmm? Some cake-based trauma in his past? Whatever, you can manage to beat this guy, you'll become the true unrivaled champion. <coughs> okay, let's try a power bounce. I shouldn't have been trying to do that. Why was I doing show-off moves? Stance has changed. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Do it again. Shame I can't do tremendous amounts of damage. Oh wait, maybe Quake Hammer does more because it pierces defense. Okay, one more turn. So his stance is his Okay. No, he's still charged. So the stances is whether or not to what kind of attack to do. The fiery fighting spirit is now burning within Prince Mush. Oh my god. Okay. How many moves can he do? Uh, is it safe to jump on him now? Oh no, he does block. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so we're gonna hit him with a hammer. Okay, so he's def. Oh no, he's just invincible right now. So how do I know what, when I can and can't hit him? Uh, do I need to use a star power, maybe? Oh, I'll take that. Let's try a supernova. I haven't done this in a long time. OK, 
Can I still mash with the best of them? Huh, it's hard. I can still do it, okay. No damage at all? I guess we just defend then. When do I get to attack? Oh, do I have to be super guarding against him? But I can't do that. Uh... How do I do this? Can you just not win if you lose the ability to super guard? I... what? How to defeat Prince Mush. This is dumb. Okay, get an email, fight him, yeah, yeah, who cares. Okay, defense. Is the tell attacks are ineffective while below half health, half HP. Oh, I have to super guard. And then I can hurt him, okay. That's very unclear. I mean, they mentioned super guarding, but. Oh, let's see how this goes. So, it's up. Why are you attacking Mario? I need you to attack her so I can hit you. Okay. Well, I guess I'll be back once I actually can hurt him. Okay, there. That sucked. That was so stupid that you can't do anything if you can't super guard. It's, it punishes you for playing a danger build, I get it. They don't like that, but there has to be ways around it too. I liked it all until the invincibility thing. So strong, you've got me beat, Mario. Who could have seen this coming? You couldn't plan a more ferocious battle. Wild moves, raw power, flying fists of fury, what beautiful destruction. This was without a doubt, inarguably, definitely, absolutely, completely, an extreme battle of the very highest caliber. But there could only be one winner, and this time it was the Great Gonzalez. I had to restart the fight like three times. Just because if I got him down to the invincibility stage, I couldn't do anything. Terrible. Awful. Here's your fight money of 30 coins, Mr. Gonzalez. It's like... Punishes you for not doing a full danger build. If I did a bad uh, build with 50... Uh, power Rush badges? Yeah, I beat him in the first turn and then I don't have to deal with that mechanic. Or if I try to do a lesser, where I still do a lot of damage but I have to deal with his stuff, I can't do anything. That's right, I hear Mush. Oops, make that Prince Mush has something to give you. I just saw him in the hallway if you want to catch him now. That's all. Take care, Gonzalez. I hope the other secret boss... It's... They're doing the thing that Mario RPG did where it's too much gimmick and not interesting enough fight. Like, Bone Tail's a good, excellent, like, ultra fight, because it's just hard. Normally. But that sucked.
Oh, I can't go talk to Jolene? Fine. What do you want? Mario, thank you so much for that incredible match. We put on quite a show up there, didn't we? I know I gave it everything I had. We should both be proud. I have a gift for you. Consider a thank you for being such a great opponent. I hope you'll take it. Oh, a belt matching Prince Mushes and a sign of his friendship. I'm ready and willing for a rematch anytime, and I intend to win it. Okay, I hate you. Goodbye. Oh, I want to go back to exploring the world and seeing everyone. It's... The great mustache never loses. I want to be like you. How do I grow up a mustache? That away, Great Gonzalez, my son has never doubted you for a second. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm going to go back to enjoying the post-game. Not dealing with whatever that was. Cooling down, it's fine. Um, who do I even want to see here? The mayor, I guess? Maybe we'll talk to Eve. Ah, oh, Mario, you seem to have found what you were looking for, correct? Feel free to visit any time. The children are always happy to see you, as am I. Hey Mario, you're back. Gift for me? Oh, you strange children. You be nice to your mom. So the shadows don't appear to be here. Well, let's talk to the mayor at least. Uh, hey, it's the savior of our town. It's Mario. Ever since that pig business, we're on constant guard. But don't think for a second that we forgot about you. Okay. I, I didn't think for a second. I wouldn't think for a second even if it killed me. Okay. Let's check out Keel Hall Key. Oh, they're here! We are the Traveling Sisters 3. Eek! The water's so cold! Oh, but it feels so good. Okay, you enjoy yourselves. Is the weird pervert here? I don't see him. I heard about you, Captain. You seem to be saving the world each time I return around. I always knew you'd do great stuff, but I gotta say, that's really something. I'm a full-time Bobbery fan now, I'll tell you that much. Okay. Yeah, the, the weird guy isn't here. To Poshley. Uh, they said Bub was. Oh, people asked me if I got tired of. Oh, okay, you're not. No, no new dialogue. Okay, I got it. Goodbye. Farewell. Yes, I don't care. Goodbye. Oh boy. Oh, Lady Bo. It is you, isn't it, Mario? Well. Make a Paper Mario 1 Remake. It's been a while, quite a while, hasn't it? I've come here with Bootler. Yes, a little vacation in the Poshly Sanctum. I had left the mansion in ages. I figured it was time to turn some heads on the road. What a nice surprise to see you. Feel free to be overwhelmed by my beauty. Look, even she has new animations. Oh, Bootler, do the scary face. Lady Bo, Bo, your beauty is like the song of a nightingale in the evening. Indeed, I feel you've grown into a fine young girl who'd make your ancestors proud. Oh, he doesn't do the scary face? Uh, where is Bud? Bub, Bub, Bud. Oh, did I just unlock a... Wait, what? Oh! Wait, but how do I... I want to listen to the music I just heard with her. Oh, 
Why is that not here? Oh, that's the wrong chapter. Uh. Oh, dang. I guess I'll just have to want to hear it. I have to come back and talk to her. Oh, there he is. I've been waiting for you, mister. See, I got into a fight with my mom, and I want to make it up to her. So I wrote her a letter, and I want to give her a present. But I don't know what to get. I narrowed it down to three things, so you could help me decide. Uh. A keel mango? Mushroom cake. A fright mask. I'm gonna kill Mango. You really think kill Mango is the way to go? I do. You've got great taste, so I'm sure it'll go over well. You also have to go find the kill Mango and bring it here. Because, you know, they don't sell those things here. Yeah, I know. I tried to pick the one that seemed the best and also easy. Right over here. I gotta find Wacka. But I don't want to hit Wacka. Uh -huh. Where could he... I mean, I know he's in the jungle. Or is he on the beach? Okay, I got a mango. Did you bring a kill mango for my mom? There you go. Yahoo! A kill mango. Thanks, mister. I'll just attach this letter and... We're done. But I'm afraid to give it to her. She may still be mad. Can you give it to her and come back, please? Oh, that's actually very nicely wrapped. Who else do I want to talk to here? Uh, I don't want to talk to you. You sell overpriced spaghetti. How about Toodles? Ooh, maybe I'll take the train back. Welcome to my vacation home, you marvelous man. Train journeys. Oh, okay. Nothing new. It seems Bob and the Misses had a little row, eh? Hard when they get to that rebellious age, you know, dear boy? Well, hello, Gonzalez. Do you need something? From little bub, you say? Why is a letter? Let me just read it. Dear lovely mama, I'm sorry I didn't do my homework. From now on, I'll do my homework and try to be a good bob like papa. And I'll give you good food and a nice house. And a pretty hat. So please don't hate me from bub. Oh, I'm just gonna break down and cry here. <laughs> oh, how delightful. <laughs> Oh. Stop playing the sad music. Oh, Gonzales, don't mind my tears. They are joyful ones. I just want to tell Bub something for me. Tell him I'm not angry. I was just being stern because I love him and I care about his future. I never meant to hurt his little feelings by it. And I'm sorry I lost sight of that. Gonzales, please bring my little Bub back to me now. Oh. I think you get like one coin as the reward for this, but it's, it's worth it. Hey, mister, how was it? Did she like the present? She's not mad anymore? Yahoo! Woo! It's all thanks to you, mister. You're the person I respect most, after my dad. And, as a reward, I'll give you my entire fortune. Not that I have many coins, though. Oh, three coins! Thanks, bub. Um... Oh, that's so adorable. I want to ride the train just to see if there's any new... Oh, but I already rode the train back once. Hmm. Actually, she didn't ride it back. I rode it... here. Little Bub didn't get a thing for his birthday. We'll just have to double up on gifts for next year. No, wait! We'll spend 20 times as much. Can you believe there are no train sets for sale in this horrid place? 
So I'll just have to build a train set store to sell one from sell me one for my son. That says no train sets train set store here. I wonder where we can get one. Um I mean a hobby store. If you want Yeah. Uh yes. I'm su why does the ticket work infinitely? That's weird. Okay, we don't need to see this. I just want to see if there's any new passengers or anything. I kind of have a general memory of who was here. Like, you were old. Uh, oh, wait, you're new. Never mind. Hold on. I'm an expert traveler. Want to know the three secrets to a good journey? Here we go. Number one, leave the ordinary behind. That includes the cell phone. Number two, try to see, see farther than usual. And I'm not just talking scenery. Number three, shop after five for save for specials. Deals come out at night. Wait, no, that's the promotion at the local supermarket. Yeah, sorry about that. But hey, there you have it. Now you'll have more fun than ever when traveling. Oh, so the passengers do change. Is it random every time? I'm trying to muster the courage to write a note from the road to the girl I like. There's so many things I want to say. I wish I could get into the spirit. Well, you were here before. I remember you. So hungry. Yep. Okay. So it's. I guess it's randomly picked each time you ride the train. Who will be... Hey, the conductor's missing. I finally agreed to a train trip once my kids had kind of pestered me into it. But seeing their innocent joy now that we're here makes it well worthwhile. Scenery outside the window rushes by just like Fazoom. You know, like Fazoom, it's awesome. How many permutations are there of this? Also, why is the con why is the conductor not here? Oh! Oh, the train is reversed! I see. Uh, that, that completely disoriented me. So the cars don't switch places, but the the caboose and the engine do. Weird. I don't know that I've ever rid, wrote, rid, rid, rode the train in reverse. Today's meal will make your stomach shrivel in shame. Okay. Welcome. Okay. You'd better back away. Why? Because I think I might barf. Oh, I'm out of here. Okay, so five is my cabin. Here's our old friend, the ghost. So how are things? Okay, nothing new here. And here's two tons of fun. Okay. I don't imagine you have new dialogue, so I won't even bother. Oh, wait, so the caboose is on this? I mean, it makes sense the way the train was facing. I just figured they'd reverse the cars. Hey, are you enjoying your train ride? Yeah. Once a train voyage is underway, you can't get off, whether you want to or not. Hey, you're making a face like you just don't care. Well, yeah, this guy asked if I knew where the bathroom was the last time I was here. I am again, getting on this train just to try to approach the waitress. How many times is this, I wonder? Okay, so the, this is the same. Okay. Okay, so I could ride this train a couple times and it would be different. A different group each time. Mostly different. Somewhat different. I, there's a lot of stuff like that in this game where it's just blink and you miss it, or if you don't look for it, you won't find it type things. Uh, okay, let's go do the last trouble, and then... Yep, I know. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, let's do the last trouble, and then... Oh, we should go see Tech. If he really did get fixed. Or, if he's still functioning, I should say. Uh, 
Okay. I wish those those characters they designed show up in the game, the like Outlaw, Koopa, Goomba, and Boo. It was such cool designs to not use them. Oh uh, yeah. We'll do the last the last uh trouble. We'll go see tech and then we'll figure out well figure out. I'll look up how to encounter the last secret boss, I assume. Oh wait, let me look in the log. Oh, so it's before Prince Mush. Okay. But it must still be a secret. Erase that graffiti. I need someone to go to the 50th level of the pit. Oh, no. So I need someone pretty tough. Shiplawi. For Jesus, please see me next to the cannon statue in Fahar Outpost. Yeah. I kind of remember this. You have to bring Bobbery to the 50th floor and blow up. Ugh. Ah. I don't want to have to go into the pit again. It's not hard, it just takes forever. Oh well, let's just go and do it. Wait, where is he? He said he was next to the inn. I see if General White's in town for once. He sure isn't. S swab? No. So many bu bombs suffer just so you could get to the moon, Shabloom. I'm kidding, Shabloom. We like exploding, Shadoom. Well, except for one of us. And it did not even hurt any of us, Shabloom, except one. Where did he say he was? Uh, Next to the cannon statue. Oh, right here. You agreed to help for my trouble, Shiplawi? Or Shiplui, thanks to you, Shaboom. There is dungeon under Rogue Port called Pit of 100 Trials, Shikau. I heard if one writes wish on wall of 50th level, then wish comes true, Shapau. I use special big explosion to get down the 50th level and write wish, Shakrak. And then I realized the whole thing was hoax, Shadoop. I risked life getting down there for useless graffiti. I wanted to race, Shishum. I would explode it myself, easy of peas, but getting back down there is not ease or peas, Shakroom. So could you go to 50th level of Pit of 100 Trials and race graffiti? Please? Okay. Well, I guess we'll be back here anyways to turn this in, so I'll... Ah, no, let me go chat with everyone while I'm here. Why not, right? Oh, you're here. My, my peace of mind is all thanks to you. Hut, hut, I'm so grateful. Kenny will not be fired until day we have been waiting for comes. Can I go in here? Damn. Cutscene only. Okay. Let's skedaddle. Uh, the pit. Maybe I should have waited to do the pit until this. Until That's why it's worth waiting until the end of the game. Oh well. I mean, at least the, it's the first 50 floors. They're not that bad. They're, none of them are bad. It's just... It takes a long time. Uh, but let's go to tech first. I'm gonna pass by that way anyway. I'm just curious to see if he's fixed. No, oh, I don't need that. I don't think I've ever gone to tech after the game. Okay, so this is still working. Or it's back to working. It was definitely broken when we finished the chapter. So are there going to be... Are there going to be enemies here? Hmm. Because, yeah, like, what if you didn't tattle the X-Nots or anything? Is the music different? No, it's the same. It doesn't seem to be enemies. Huh. This music's still awesome, though.
Tech. Hey, it's on. Mario, I am pleased that I could see you again. I detonated explosives after you left to ensure the base could no longer be used for evil. Of course, I was destroyed in the resulting explosion. But one day I regained consciousness and all was as before. Yes, everything. I do not comprehend why, but... As I regained consciousness, I saw a light and I thought I heard Pe Peach's voice. How is Princess Peach? If she is happy, then I too am happy. I continue to hope for the continued happiness of you, Peach, and all the others. Well, that's nice. It would be cool as a callback if they had ever, like... If Tech had been downloaded to, like, a personal assistant, like an Alexa. I don't have one of those, but just in case yours reacted to that, I'm trying to... I was trying to say it stupidly. But, like, if that was, like, Peach's computer assistant for the castle. That would be a cool little thing. So what is the, like, lore reason that everything's fixed? Just, like, the magic of the crystal... Yeah, there's no enemies here. The magic of the crystal stars fixed everything? I'll have to look up if there's actually... Maybe... Who... Maybe there's someone like Vati Vidya who does lore for Paper Mario games. I doubt it. But hey, the game's 20 years old. Maybe someone's done it in that time. Okay. Back to the pit. It's this one, right? And then I go down from here. I have to go to the left. But Yep. Ah, oh boy. Oh, hello. Hey, what's up? I'm a mover. I know a few things about getting through this dungeon. I got a special deal going on right now where I can take you to the <gasps> You can? 300 coins is a pittance. I'll do it. Wait. Alright, close your eyes. My secret paths are secret. Don't open your eyes at all. Ooh. Does it actually take me to the 50th floor? Holy quality of life, Batman. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, well, the graffiti's gone. How do you get down here, Charlie? I guess he also must have some secret paths of some sort. Oh my god, that's so nice. I don't have to do the pit again. Oh, the music here has changed. so like spiritual okay well that's awesome so now I just got to figure out how to where who why the final boss or this final secret boss Wall's done. Job's done. So, you erased my graffiti, Shapaf? You erased it, Shishloom. I am so grateful to you. But it is not like I can confirm whether you actually erased it or not, Shabu. Oh well, I guess I'll just trust you, Shishakity. Take this reward, Shapao. Zestine made it for me when I told her how much I was missing the snow, Shifum. Oh, Snow Bunny! That's useless. I'm going to start trying to fulfill my own wish now. But you cannot tell anyone what it is, Shifum. Promise me, Shakroom. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. Thousand Year Door. Post. Game. Boss? No, not Prince Mush. Oh, here. Game 8 to the rescue as usual. There are two secret bosses Prince Mush and Wacka? NPC dialogue will change, I know that. 
Meet Lady Bo, you talk to Tech. Okay, so I did all that. Wacka? How to defeat Wacka? Up up here when or appear when you approach from the empty s space behind the ship in Keel Hall Key. Hitting Wacka will give a Wacka bump. Okay. You do it seven times. Oh my god, so I gotta go. I don't wanna hit Wacka though. I love Wacka. The only time I've ever hit Wacka was because there was a recipe that needed one of his bumps, I think, in the original game. I don't want to give Wacka brain damage. I mean, I've definitely seen... I've definitely gone through his dialogue for hitting him too much, too much but... Uh, Wacka... What? Uh, no! How hard is Wacka? Wait. We'll appear on the hundredth floor... Oh, boy. Oh, cool. I'm Wacka. We've got some good weather today, right, right? Makes me feel like nothing bad could happen today like this. Wacka do. Waku, direct hit. Wacka. You don't deserve this. Waku and Wacka, we've got some good weather today, right, right? Of course, yesterday was also pretty darn nice, too. Wickedy, wackity, wackadoo. Waku, direct hit. I mean, Wacka's based on a whack a mole, I get it. Wacka's so cute. Ooh, I wonder, they've been releasing icons and stuff for the Switch Online stuff. So you can make a Paper Mario icon for your account. I wonder. I would love it if they made one for Wacka, an icon of him. Them? I don't know what Wacka is really. Aku, I'm Wacka. We've got some good weather today, right? Right. Of course, yesterday was also pretty darn nice too. That's a rare Wacka. I don't think you see many of his kind anymore. Nope. If you whack a Wacka, they drop a Wacka bump. Those are supposed to be delicious. They fetch a high price in gourmet auctions too. Yep, super precious delicacies. Still, I'm lacking a defenseless creature to get one. You'd never do that, right, Mario? I'm sorry! I need to fight him as a boss. I need him to kick my ass. Oh, wait, couldn't I just... Why am I running all the way back to that? Couldn't I just go over here and... It would work the same, or is the load longer? And that feels like it takes longer. Well, the exiting's not that long. I'm Wacka. Got some good weather today. I'm sure tomorrow and the next day will be fine, fine, fine too. Wacka do. Ugh. I hate this. I only have four. Wait. Why do I have... I have a lot of stuff. Huh? I should go sell some stuff, I think. I'm here to sell. My god, I never thought I'd have too many ultra mushrooms. A, a wacka bump is the same value as a honey as a honey as a ultra mushroom? That seems off. Oh, and the snow bunny. Get out of here. Okay. Seven times. <laughs> Maku and Wacka, we got some good weather today, right, right? I'm sure tomorrow and the next day will be fine, fine, fine. Uh, Wacka. Waku, direct hit. It's kind of gross that it just, like, grows and pops off of him. That's pretty nasty. How much more must he endure? 
Uh, cool. uh, I'm Wacka, I think. We've got good weather today, I think. Uh, who are you, Wackadoo? I'm feeling a touch forgetful. Wacka, cool. direct hit. Well, now he has amnesia. I think this is the last one I can hit. I hate this! Wasn't there another way? Oh, Wacka. Wacku, I'm Wacka, or something like that. I'm feeling a touch forgetful. Did I eat breakfast today? Seven times. Oh wait, no. You get you have to do it eight times. Am I? He can revive up to seven times. I see. So one more. So, am I gonna? Am I turning him into a dangerous monster because I'm giving him amnesia and he doesn't know what he is anymore? Or who he is? Whack who? Yeah, I could do. Wick whack whack a who? Ah, you've lost your mind, I see. Whack a woo. I hate this. I really do genuinely hate this. If I didn't need it for the title, the catalog, I probably wouldn't do this. Okay, he's gone. We'll appear on the floor. If if conditions are met. Wait, what? Complete the game. Clear the pit once. I did that. Be whack until it stops appearing. Receive email. After completing three actions, Mario will receive an email. And also just go careening off the edge. Well, that's bad. Uh, symbols of my shame in my inventory. So how do I get the actual email? Make him until he stops appearing. Beat the game. Clear the pit of 100 trials. I did that. I did all of those things. I know for a fact I've done... A uh, you know what? Maybe if I rest, it'll force the email? Let's see. Wacka. Email. Well, people searched for it, so it must be an issue. How do I get the email for it? I completed the pit. The only other thing you haven't done is get little badges. Maybe you also have to beat Mosh. The only email got was standard. Something to beat the butter, but nothing about Wack himself. You just have to wait a certain amount of time. 30 minutes? Huh? Okay, well, I guess I'll hang around until that happens. 30 minutes? I guess it's like a bathroom break or something and just leave the game on. Okay, I'm at floor 99, and I got the email before I came down here, of course. This morning, we received a report that Mrs. mysterious creature has taken up residence deep within the pit of 100 trials, already rumored to be the lair of an evil dragon. According to the eyewitness witness that responded it, part of it looked a lot like a certain creature said to be extinct. We call upon our readers to send in any information they ha might have, should you encounter it. To any brave readers that wish to test their skills in the pit of 100 trials, careful preparation is a must. No our editorial department will be cheering you on. To any good little children who might be reading this, the pit of 100 trials is very dangerous. Don't go near it. But if you do, don't mention this newsletter. Okay. 
I assume this is the hardest fight in the game, unless it has a weird gimmick like Prince Mush. That's a rare Wacka. I don't think you see many of his kind anymore. Nope. If you whack a Wacka, you dro they drop a Wacka bump. You can either eat those or sell them for a high price. You did hear me when I said these critters are rare, right? Just checking, because that means you should not whack them. You do understand that, right, Mario? Maku, I'm Wacka. You sure traveled a long way to see me. It's kind of cramped and dark down here, but it's also super, super quiet. Such a relaxing getaway spot. Who? Waku? So that's why you're here. You want to play with me. In that case, let's play, ba bam. What is this music? Can't flee this fight. Okay. That's a Wacka. They're pretty rare. 108. But you can also find them hiding in Keel Hall Key. He's got a max HP of 108, attack of 10, and a defense of 1. I never expected to run into one of these guys all the way down here. When he's attacked, he'll drop a Wacka Bump. Then he'll use that bump for a powerful attack of his own. That means you try to use as few attacks as possible to keep him from dropping those Wacka Bumps. Seriously, I never expected to fight a Wacka. It's so hard to tell what they're thinking. I bet he gets real scary when he's mad, but I hope we don't find out. Uh, you know what? Line the cursor with the good panels and press A. What? Oh, okay, cool. Neat! Attack is boosted. Defense is boosted. Okay, I'm just gonna go nuts, I think. 108, huh? Why are they red? Why are they red? I don't want to find out. This music awesome. I'm just gonna beat you before you show me a weird mechanic. That's... Oh, look at that! He actually gives good experience. Ooh, gold one. Wacka woo. Guess I lost, but that was fun. Hope to see you again sometime. Oh, so I can just come down here and keep fighting him? A shiny Wacka bump obtain obtained from Wacka. It sadly mm, cannot be eaten. So. Ooh. Attacka of the Wacka. See, that was a good one, because. My build was super strong against it, but there's also no gimmicks, so I could be a little weaker. Or there's gimmicks, but... You don't have to be... Congrats, you tire... Wait. You've had Kumbula title on every kind of enemy. Your title log is now bursting with villainous secrets and juicy bad guy gossip. As proof of your efforts, we've sent you a special reward, the title trophy. Check your useful items to admire it yourself or show it off to friends. You've earned the right to brag. Gold letter. Congrats, you comprehensive collector. Congratulations, you've collected all the recipes, obtained every badge, and filled up your entire catalog. Wow. Head on over to Rogueport's main square. A shiny reward is waiting for you. What? Also, I can sort these. Neat. Wait. No. Oh. Uh, I wanted to do this. Cool. I got my Super Luigi, so... Interesting. So these are like the bonus boss... ...rewards. Well, it seemed like Wacka was okay. 
they didn't have as much brain damage as they seemed to earlier. So that was nice. I just need to get back out. To Rogueport Square. Am I going to know who I'm looking for? Or is it just going to mysteriously fall into my hands? Ooh, maybe Toadette gives it to me. That would be nice. Ah, still suffering from wicked heartburn. Anything? Let's see, did he gain any knowledge? Nope, okay. What am I going to get? It's nice that there's like a full on completion reward. Why is it under the noose? What is it? Gold metal makes Mario look shiny and golden. What? Oh! Look at that! Neat! I'm just gold now. Huh. Okay, that's kind of a cool final reward thing. Okay. Oh, it's like glossy too. Okay. Hey. I think we're done. I don't think there's anything else to do besides like little miscellaneous talk to dialogue type of things, but I think that's it. So oh, this has been so nice. I hope they make more Paper Mario's like this. I hope they do. Let them see this resurgence of well, It's not a resurgence. They're the ones who were holding it back. People were waiting at the Sla we're slamming on the fence. Give us Paper Mario. Give us Paper Mario. And they were 20 years. They didn't know what to do. So hopefully they kind of like were, oh, people like this. More. And they give it more. But it's Nintendo. Who can say? They're kind of doing their own thing for good or ill. But yeah, that's it. So thanks for joining me. Come back. I'll have the next stuff up real soon. But until then, bye.